Instead of using move forward by 150, the move block is now referencing a variable called length. Can you set length to 150 to draw this new triangle? Drag a number block to the set length block and to the repeat underscore times block to draw a set of 50 pixel triangles. Let's try it again. Can you set the length variable to 60 to make this cool design with hexagons? Draw this pattern of pentagons with 100 pixel size by setting the right value for length and dropping the length variable into all of the correct places. See how you only have to set the value for length once, and the code uses the right value. Now I want to make a rectangle that is twice as tall as it is wide. We've got a variable called width that needs to be set to 100. Can you use the math blocks to complete the code? Here's some code that can draw any regular polygon. There's a new variable called sides that is set to 4. Can you use the sides variable along with the math block to turn the right amount regardless of how many sides are in the polygon? Use what you learned in the last puzzle to create this hexagon using the sides variable. See how you could change just one value to draw a triangle, square, Pentagon, or Octagon? Now, recreate the algorithm from the last level and create a pentagon with sides of length 150. Free play, experiment with the number of sides this shape has. Can you change the algorithm so that the overall size of the shape stays the same, no matter how many sides it has? Here's some more complicated code using the same concepts from the last puzzle. What should you set the sides variable to in order to draw this picture made of squares?
Let's set the size variable to 5. The more sides we add to this algorithm, the bigger this whole pattern gets. Notice that there is another variable called length. We can now use that variable wherever we have a move forward block. Set the length variable to 75 for this shape. When a shape has lots of sides, each side needs to be shorter if you want the whole pattern to fit on the screen. Let's recreate the algorithm for this amazing pattern, but instead of manually setting the length variable, let's use a math block with the sides variable inside to make sure that each shape fits correctly. The perimeter of each polygon is 300 pixels. Free play, check it out. Now your algorithm is nested within one more loop. Experiment with changing the values of your two variables to draw cool patterns. For even more effect, try playing with color. Use random colors inside loops to see how it changes your design.